This is Timo Björnstein for RaceDepartment.com and today's topic is the brand new Sennheiser PC320. This brand new Sennheiser product is not on the market yet and this first part of the review will give you an overview, an uh, unboxing and some technical details of this very nice looking product. As you can see right from the start, this headset is not meant to be a very high-class product. Uh, it uses this transparent plastic case instead of the very high-quality um, paper versions of the 199 euro headsets. But as well, it is very, very nicely um, packed. So here, let's loosen this up, put it out nice looking headset i gotta say this is actually a very nice surprise for me the headset has like usual the mute off switch of the microphone also the volume controls are working as usual um, you can use uh, the ear cushions um, on every kind uh, every type of head i would say because they're movable and these very nice cushions here are made from a very soft and nice material and as, as you can see the flexibility of this headset is very nice as well like usual the headphone size is adjustable for every type of head and basically that's about it This product provides you with some very nice looking details. Like for example, I like the choice of plastic they did this time. So this plastic is really durable, um, it is, if you scratch it, you will not leave a mark there. And also I like the machined metal parts on this side and on the other side as well obviously. And the, the material they use for the ear cushions is actually very nice and um, it is sort of... Um, remembering me of the PC360, but it's not the same. And when you put this headset on your head, you will notice that it fits very nicely over your ears, that the whole ear is covered, it is an open design, so you can hear everything that is outwards, uh, outside of the headset. And uh, my ear is slightly touching the inner parts of this headset right now, but it doesn't feel uncomfortable. So there, there's no real pressure of the headset and of the ear parts onto my ear. But this is something we will find out in a later review, in the second part of this review, when I have the, uh, when I have the chance to do my five-hour test. I, do, I usually do this at work, so I start listening to music, I start listening to phone calls, I do some conversations using, using this uh, microphone here. And if this really works out, then I come to this um, next part of the review and we will see how, the good, how good the quality of this headset actually is. One part at the moment that I don't like so much is this volume control. On the other headsets it was a very high quality volume control. It, um, usually it is a very soft feeling and this uh, part here feels rather plastic-like. It is a um, little bit unstable, um, so it's, it just doesn't feel like the very high quality I'm used to from Sennheiser. But on the other hand, this um, headset starts at 69 euros which is not much at all for such a good looking headset, especially when you consider that the microphone, for example, seems to be coming from the 140 euro version. So, nice price, we'll see how this all turns out in the second review. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below of what you think about this headset. It will be coming out in a few days, so stay tuned for the full review. Until then.